Music has an interesting power and influence in our lives, doesn't it? Music is an area that affects you as a teen probably more than any other medium. Music communicates. If there's one area of today's pop culture where teens are literally calling the tunes, it's the record business. A music critic for the Chicago Daily News said, Popular music is helping to corrupt the youth of America. Now notice, he doesn't condemn all pop music, and neither do I. But here again, we need discernment. This music critic continues, It should be obvious anything with such power to do good can also be twisted to do evil. Probably one reason music has dodged censorship arrows is that its influence is a subtler matter than that of words or pictures. But, he adds, there is no question in my mind that most popular songs are to real music what the comic book is to real literature. Yes, music is a powerful force for good or evil. Young people use music to reflect their own ideas, frustrations, questions and attitudes. And some of their music responds to these questions. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. That's the only thing that there's just to live love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. Now that sounds great. What the world needs is love, more love. And we would agree. But maybe where we disagree is what we mean by love. Yes, what the world needs now is love. But is that what the kids are listening to? Not necessarily. on a minute. You say that's love? I think you know the answer to that. It's part of the pop philosophy that reduces love to a selfish act of personal gratification. The big bold beat may disguise the message, and many kids tell me they really don't pay any attention to the words, only the music. But you know as well as I do that those words come through loud and clear. On the other hand, all pop tunes aren't bad. Let me be a little kinder, let me be a little blinder to the faults of those about me. Let me praise a little more. Let me be when I am weary, just a little bit more cheery. Think a little more of others and a little less of me. Now man, that makes a lot of sense. Let me, let me think a little more of others and a little less of me. That to me is love. Not sock it to me, baby, gimme, gimme, gimme. That's not love. Love is giving, not getting. Does that make sense? What kind of music is this pop music? Some songs express a basic goodness and love of life. But many more shout that life is basically evil and hopeless, a view that is sharply diversion to my Christian philosophy. Will you think about this for just a moment? What kind of music dominates your life? What is the sound that underscores your background? I believe it's important to choose the right kind of music and reject some of the pop philosophy that is communicated through today's music. <laughs> 